In this video, we are going to write a trivial Python script, then create a Docker image out of it and deploy this image to Google Compute Engine. We are also going to add Stackdriver logging to the script. Let's get started. We have this empty Visual Studio project and we are going to start by adding the main.python file and uh, just the boilerplate for now, if name equals equals main. And um, basically our script is gonna have a infinite loop with while true and then it's gonna log a message and sleep for five seconds. So we're gonna import logging, import time for sleeping, so logging that info uh, sleeping for five seconds and then we're gonna run time that sleep uh, five for five seconds and uh, by default uh, info messages are not uh, printed by the logger so we're gonna have to change the logging settings logging that basic config and level equals logging dot info so we're just gonna run the script, make sure it works. So yeah, we see right here, sleeping for five seconds, and again, and so on. Next, we are going to add stack driver logging to our script. So we're gonna search for uh, Python stack driver logging. And um, yeah, this first URL is good, setting up cloud logging for Python. And uh, it says here that first we need to install the client library. And uh, this is the library name, Google Cloud Logging. So we're, we're going to add a requirements.txt file to collect all, our, all the requirements of our script and add this library to it. Copy and uh, paste it in requirements.txt. And also we are going to create a, a virtual environment for Python uh, just to make sure everything is contained and is working. So we're going to run Python 3-m for module. Um, the module name is VN, V and V for virtual environments. And we're going to give it the name my underscore ENV. And we see that Visual Studio Code uh, identified that we have a new virtual environment and wants to switch to it, we accept. And now we're going to install all the dependencies from requirements.txt. So we're going to go to my env bin pip and uh, install dash r for requirements file and then requirements.txt. It takes a second for the requirements to be installed. Now it's ready. And now we come back here. So this is the code that we need to do. Import this Google Cloud logging. We're gonna add it at the top. And uh, now we can um, in create an instance of the logging client and uh, set it up. And uh, set up logging. And um, I would, rename this um, to maybe like logging client because it can clash to other clients. And also what I want to do is only set up uh, cloud logging when it is running in production. Uh, we don't want to send uh, logs from our local machine to the cloud. That would make it more confusing to investigate issues. So in order to determine whether we're running in production or locally, I'm going to use this environment variable called production. So we're going to import OS and we're going to look in OS uh, environment get. So the variable name will be production and I'm using get because in case it's missing, I want to give it a default value and the default value will be zero. And also I'm going to convert it to an integer and make sure it's one. So when we're, when we're deploying in production, we're going to set this environment variable production to one. And if that is true, then um, the stack driver logging setup will, uh, will happen. Now we're going to create a Docker container for our Python script. We're going to search for uh, 
Python, Docker. And uh, there's this tutorial on a Docker page, build your Python image. And uh, yeah, you can read all the explanation. We're just gonna skip to creating the Docker file. And there's this example in here that we're gonna copy and modify. So we're gonna create a new file in here called Docker file. And uh, this is the base image. This is a good base image for Python scripts, Python 3.8 Slim Buster. It just gives you a basic running environment for Python. And uh, yeah, we need to copy the requirements txt file. Uh, yeah, we need to install the requirements and then we're gonna copy main.python and the, um, our entry point will be python3 main.python. We don't need the other arguments. So now we're gonna build our image using docker build. We're gonna give it a tag of uh, py that dash gce and the directory which we are building is the current directory we're going to do dot uh, it takes a second because i have these images cached already the base image is cached on my local machine so now if we do docker images and scroll to the top we will see we, we see the image right here py.gce uh, it was created 12 seconds ago which is good and now we can run it using docker run py.gce and we see it's doing what it was doing locally logging this message sleeping for five seconds all good next we are going to push the docker image we just built to google cloud and then deploy it to compute engine so I'm going to open a new tab with console.cloud.google.com and in here I already have selected this empty project it's called yt-pypy from YouTube Python um, I, I have another video that shows you how to create this project and set up billing it should pop up at the top of the video and in here we're going to use the search bar and search for container registry Container registry is the Google Cloud product where we push Docker images. So first we need to enable it. Takes a second. Okay, it was enabled now and um, we're gonna click on this learn more to learn how to use it. So in here, it should there should be something to yeah, view documentation, container registry docs, pushing and pulling images. And uh, here it tells us about different registries. And um, yeah, basically the gist of it is that you need to have the G Cloud SDK installed on your computer and then Docker configured. But once you have the G Cloud uh, command, so if you run if you go to a terminal and type gcloud, if if it shows you this uh, help, then it it all it's all good. Otherwise, search for gcloud SDK install, and um, yeah, just follow the steps from this page. But um, uh, basically, now what we need to do is just gonna tag our image to gcr.io slash my project slash a name for our image and then we just push it so the name of our project we're going to take from here from the project selector and we're going to copy this id from here so now we're going to tag our image docker tag i think our image name was uh pi gce okay so we're going to tag pi gce to gcr dot uh, gcr dot io slash our project name and then pi gce so now if we do docker push and uh, the new tag would complete with the project name and all it should work so if we go copy paste this one
and uh, it finished pushing it to the registry. And now if we refresh this registry, we will see our image in here. And uh, next we are going to deploy it to Compute Engine. So we click in here. We will copy this uh, Compute Image and in, uh, in a new tab, I'm going to search for uh, Compute Engine. And, um, and we need to enable it as well. Okay, it was enabled, so we got redirected to this uh, VM Instances tab, and now we're just going to click on Create a New Instance. And um, yeah, we're going to give it a name, PyGCE. It's hard to change names for some reason later, so pick a good name in the beginning. It's uh, better. And uh, we can select the region. I always select west us west for las vegas because i want to encourage the local economy and here we see the monthly estimate of this uh, type of machine it's 29 dollars but because by it defaults to medium machine but if you just have something very simple uh, the micro machines would do and now you'll see that the prices on it dropped down to eight dollars this is all good and now in container, we're going to click in here and deploy container and go, go back to container registry and uh, copy this full image name. I'm going to look at the first three digits, 08BA. So we're just going to paste it in here. I'm always double checking that the first few digits match. This is more when I update the image to a new one. I just want to make sure I copy the correct one. And we need to add the environment variable to production one. This is because we have, um, so if we go back in here in main, we have uh, this branch that we only set up uh, cloud logging if it's running in production. So we need to set this to one. We select it. And now we click on create. going to take a second. Okay, it was now created. Uh, so it is running. It says the status, this instance is running. So now we're, if we're searching for logging in the search bar, we will see all the logs in our project. And uh, we see already the sleeping for five seconds lines that the script is printing. Here also we can filter for logs coming only from this instance. So we would expand one of these log lines and go to resources, labels, and we can, uh, we can filter for this instance ID. So if we click in here, we click on show matching entries, and now it only shows us log lines from this instance. Keep in mind uh, when when you turn on this uh, cloud logging, pretty much all the Google Cloud products have a price. And if you're not careful, it can quickly add up. So if we look for a stack driver logging pricing, it will say here, like it costs uh, 50 cents per gigabyte of log ingested. And there's a storage price, but if we if they are returned for a default retention period, we don't have storage costs. Uh, so yeah, logging is cheap. Just uh, make sure with other products, if you're not careful, you can end up spending a lot of money on it. That's it for today. There are more videos on cloud engineering on this channel. Also consider subscribing if you want to support the channel. The source code will be in the video description below. See you next time.